As we discussed earlier on, UK cinema chain Cineworld has cancelled now showings of the film The Lady of Heaven. Breaches, uh, branches, sorry, I should say, of the chain were picketed by Muslim activists who say that the film, which is apparently about the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, is blasphemous, OK? So here to discuss this with me now is its executive producer of the film, so fantastic stuff, the Lady of Heaven, which is Malik Schlibach. Um Sorry, I think I might have desecrated your surname there. Apologies, my good man, but we'll give it a go a second time round. And Dr Sheikh Ramsey as well, Imam and Director of the Oxford Islamic Information Centre. I really, really appreciate you both coming on. I appreciate this is a Thanks. bit of a tricky topic to talk about, OK, by definition, but let's just give it a go. So, Malik, your, your thoughts first and foremost, you were obviously you're directly involved with this film. Uh, how do you feel about, well, the fact that I suppose it's been cancelled by Cineworld? Yeah, I think that's, of course, uh, absurd. Uh, you know, the whole entire British public are united on this. Uh, it's crazy that there's even a debate uh, about this, uh, this matter. And, I mean, uh, it's a film that people agree with and some disagree with. And why on earth should it be banned? Because a certain group uh, are, are against it or offended by it. OK, Dr Sheikh Ramsey, I'll bring you in now. Of course, Imam and Director of the Oxford Islamic Information Centre. Yes. There does appear to be, to me anyway, quite an obvious solution to this. If you're offended by seeing a depiction of the Prophet Muhammad or indeed his daughter, then don't watch the film. Um, it's, it's, it's not as easy as that. Uh, God bless you. Before I start, to say the salam and peace to all brothers and sisters, Muslim or not. I believe okay. the spreading... The, the important thing is, is not the film, the important thing is spreading the falsehood, uh, bring a division. At the moment, of course, we have, we have a, a, a producer that this is bringing division between two main, main sect of Islam. It's not just a, hello, I want to do it, uh, 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 or I don't want to do it, or is it depend on the freedom of a speech or freedom of a... Uh, freedom of talk or freedom of insult. The film is insulting the companion of the prophet. And of course, if the companion of the prophet has been insulted, insulted, uh, they insulted me. Uh, they, 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 they are insulting the Abu Bakr the, um, and, and Omar, radiallahu anhu, which always the Shia sect has been, in the, the extreme Shia sect has been insulting, insulting them. And uh, these okay, are right. the people. Yeah, OK. All right, we'll come back to you. Don't worry, we'll come back to you. Malik. I'd like okay. uh, Dr. Okay. Sheikh to allow me to uh, put my views Absolutely. forward Please here. Do. And, uh, I mean, just I want the, the, the guest here to think about what he is saying and just reflect for a moment. What you are saying, Dr. Sheikh, is that because you believe that these companions, Abu Bakr and Omar uh, and Aisha, were righteous people, that means the rest of the world must succumb to your view. Dr. Sheikh, that is what the radicals are saying. Those who are holding up ISIS posters, the pro-Talibans that have been protesting all over the UK, they are saying, Dr. What, Sheikh, that... I will let you come Dr. back Sheikh, on this, Sheikh, so let him finish. I, will, I promise you, I will let you Dr. come back Sheikh, on this completely, Dr. Dr. Sheikh. Dr. Sheikh, what they are saying is if you speak about these matters that we do not want you to speak about, we will threaten you with violence. You are regurgitating their viewpoint, Dr. Sheikh. So I have to ask, are you a radical? Do you allow others who disagree with your viewpoints to express themselves even though you disagree? Okay. All right, well, look, look, answer that then. You know, again, are, are, are again, you a radical? Again, uh, my, my friend, presenter, you shouldn't be biased. The important, very important thing is, very important thing is, these are, have, have a right to protest. And, and of course, the film at the moment showing showing the people who are looks radical. Let me tell you what is the thing is that one and a half thousand years is that we have that debate we have that discussion why are you coming now why is it a falsehood i tell you the falsehood which about the prophet families this is wrong the lady lady of the heaven i love her i love her with, with my heart okay. and you have been insulting her you have been insulting her okay. by how? Being, he has how? Been, yes. Uh, how? What? Yes. So how what is? Look, 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 oh, look, look, guys, 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 just, quick, just quickly, just quickly. What, one thing, one yeah. thing I just want to say. Is, look, I, I am, I'm they, obviously they not say, Muslim, say, so I'm not, maybe I'm not quite across. They say has been attacked. Right, they have been attacked. Has not been attacked. It Dr. Was Sheikh, a prophet, if we can have a conversation, that would be brilliant. It's impossible Please. to be attacked. And of course, he was he was the wife Dr. of Dr. Sheikh? Ali, who, the lion of God. Who could dare to dare to attack her? Who but could what, dare so, what, to stop her? Just this please, is, please this educate is a me. Yeah, that, look, that's fine. Just, just come up for hour for a second. Yeah. Please educate me. What is what is the actual point? Have you seen can the I, film? Can I address? No, hang on a second. Sorry, sorry, I haven't seen the film. I you haven't seen it. it. 
I have you haven't about seen it. the film, I, I, have you? No, I have seen I do not want to see it. I have heard about it. What is insulting? And uh, several people which uh, saw the film, they say we saw we saw the uh, ladies of uh, ladies of the heaven, Fatima of the Allah okay. and her uh, being uh, insulted. Points. They have All not right. been insulted. I we have been I'm a scholar of the fear of scholar of There is then. nothing. Well, it's been you. man made to division the yeah. Muslims. That's what I would like to mention okay. here and stress. OK, look, hey, you are perfectly entitled to your view. And like I said, I'm not a Muslim, so I, I, I've got, well, I've got no right to tell you what you should be, should and shouldn't be offended about, I suppose, in a sense. But come back to all of that. Dr. Sheikh, you have your opinion and you're right. They are allowed to protest. But what they're not allowed to do is to say that others cannot express their vision and views of history because a certain group believe in a certain way. What I want to say, Dr. Sheikh, to you no, is that... No, no, just, just, Dr. Sheikh, just let him talk. What I want to say, Dr. Sheikh, is that I, ISIS, the group ISIS, infamously burnt the Jordanian pilot, if you can recall. And when they done so, they said that we've done, we done this because of our inspiration and, and what we've taught from Abu Bakr. Now, you might disagree. You might say this isn't true. They've misunderstood history. They were fine. That's all right. But there are hundreds of millions of people, Dr. Sheikh, that believe in this. They believe Abu Bakr was a tyrant. He was a criminal. And he is the one that gave birth to terrorism. So I ask you, why can't we... Why can't we? Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah, let him finish. Otherwise, you're off. Yeah. Dr. Sheikh, I ask you, why can't we express ourselves? And this whole scenario, Dr. Sheikh, it actually <laughs> allows us to see... The, it allows us to see the bullying that's been happening over the last thousand years to groups like Shia who want to just express their views. We've been killed yes, for a thousand yes. years. Shia that's, genocide that's, is that's, a real that's thing. Okay, okay, Sheikh, allow me, allow you me are peddling the same rhetoric. Okay, look, right, fair enough. I hope you feel heard there, Malik. Dr. Sheikh, I'll happening? let you come back what to that. What's your point? Exactly is exactly the same which happened to Charlie Hebdo. I was very involved, very, very involved. Nobody wanted to get involved except myself on the television and the radio and it, uh, several thousand people in the stand and they spoke. It was what happened to the Charlie Hebdo. He showed the satire, satire of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and what this country done, which I would like, I would love to, I would love to ask the government to do exactly the same. They did not we show, are Muslims. How, not are, how can you bring Charlie Hebdo into this when we are Muslims? Muslims, Dr. Sheikh. We have a right to speak about they, our religion. Going to bring it Dr. Rally, Sheikh, what planet are you living on? Uh, many we are uh, Muslims. Uh, we disagree with you. Okay. India uh, to what, 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 Therefore, Sorry. what we need to do, what we need to do, we need to be wise. We need to be wise and do not show it because uh, you intimidate the people. If you intimidate the people, for yes, example, here we go. For example Here's For example, if right. she a person saw this, if she, she a person saw this, saw this, the Fatima, the Allah, and which is in my heart, been insulted. Dr. Sheikh, I actually agree with you on a certain point. That's wrong. Dr. Sheikh, I actually agree okay. with you on a certain point. These radicals are saying, if you speak about X, Y, and Z, we will threaten violence. The response to that should not be, yes, let's not speak about X, Y, and Z so they don't uh, threaten with, with violence or carry out violence. The response should be, stamp these guys out, let everyone speak about what they wish to speak about, as long as we abide by the law, as long as, long as we don't threaten violence. That is the solution to radicalism, because then we move into a future where everyone is tolerant of everyone's beliefs. That is the trick. Very, very lastly, do, 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 so let me have, a, let me have the final question to you. We are, we are, to talking, to our, we are talking to our lawyers to get a def defamation of the character, character for, for for that, which is a very important. That's why we're going. And again, you are doing something which the Shia, Shia radical, will attack the Sunnis. Will attack look, you, are, you, you are. You are. I've got to be honest here, Doctor. Sheikh, can I, can I, yeah. Okay, right. Stop. Stop. Right. Can I be honest with you? Can you understand why you might look a bit touchy about all of this stuff? I'm touchy, but I'm not touchy. I'm saying the fact. Not a bit. And it's my way to saying it. I'm not touchy. I am saying the facts. And of course, what we are, what I'm saying it, my friend, you are supporting the other I'm side. not supporting anything. I haven't and seen the film. I can't see it yes. because you banned it. But this, I have been at least thousand, but thousand hours myself as a presenter. But you are touching. What you are trying to do is say we want I'm to have to do anything. I'm trying to have a debate. We I'm trying to have a discussion. I want, I want to, I want to be educated about but this. But not insult. So sorry. What was that? I said we want to have a freedom, freedom of a speech, but not freedom of insult. The government. Okay. The so answer this question. You're telling me. Are lastly, you telling, yeah. me, are you telling me that hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions of Muslims? Are you are you saying that hundreds of millions of Muslims need to remain silent about their beliefs to satisfy you? Is that what you're telling us?
I'm telling them, no, I'm, no, 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 no. So I let's am put an end to this. Let's allow to people to have freedom violence. of expression, freedom of religion. UK permits this. You are not okay. above the UK okay. law. She, Thank she you very much, Dr. Uh, Sheikh. All right, right. and have a lovely day. But okay. he's wrong. Yeah. All right, guys. OK, look, both. Can I just say, Dr. Sheikh, honestly, I, I don't think I've had you on the show before. I, I would be more than willing to have you back on. And I appreciate we may well, um, like I said, I mean, look, I'm, I'm not a Muslim, obviously. So this is a lot less personal for me than it is for, for you. So maybe I'm being a bit distanced from this. Uh, but, you know, we might not agree on this, but I respect your right to be able to say your views. And I hope that you do feel heard as well. Thank but, look, you. Obviously, mate, thank you very much for coming in the studio. Great to have thank you on the show you. as well. Look, guys, goodness gracious me, GB Views, GB News. But I'm going to read out a statement now from Cineworld that said, due to recent incidents related to screenings of The Lady of Heaven, we have made the decision to cancel upcoming screenings of the film nationwide to ensure the safety of our staff and customers. So that's, that's their view, obviously. It's important that we have to read that out, of course. Wow. Well, that was uh, one way to start the show. I mean, it's certainly a way to start your Friday night, isn't it, I suppose? But I do really think, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, all joking aside, uh, that, that this is a very, very serious discussion. And I, my concern is, where does this end, OK? And I think that should be a big issue for us all, because it's not really about blasphemy, although I suppose in a literal sense it... It may be. It's about things like freedom of expression. And it's about things like your way of life, really, in a way. And that's quite big stuff as far as I'm concerned. So gbvgbnews.uk. Uh, Malik is still in the studio with me, but thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Anyway.